Someone please tell them I just got shot down and the bullets in my heart. Let's pull the bangs to the side so that we can do my makeup. Somebody said, did I bleach my real hair or that, is that a wig? This is my real hair. Yes. All right, let's start with the makeup, makeup, makeup. We're high today off of caffeine, so. Let's have a good time, shall we? Oh my God, this fucking me is so cloudy. Hold on. Somebody said that I seem like I'm in such a good, mo better mood from last week, and you would be accurate. I was ready to. You know? <sighs> I'm not gonna make my eyebrows too dark because my hair is so blonde. Oh, somebody just said, is the meet and greet just for the people who got a golden ticket? No, the meet and greet is for everybody. So if you're in the Los Angeles area, August 22nd, it's a Sunday. I would love if you guys could come, please. I really don't want to be like Nikita Dragon. Like, and I know I'm gonna be like Nikita Dragon. Like, I'm gonna walk in there and it's gonna be like, <coughs> emptiness, but it's cool. I'll just cry myself to fucking sleep at night. Because I know we all saw that freaking Nikita Dragon video. I know that it was edited, but like, I'm just using it as an example. Like, I'm not even nowhere near lit is her. But that edit was hilarious. Yo, I need to do my eyebrows so bad, but I really don't feel like it. Somebody said, how long have you been practicing that accent? Actually, this is my actual accent. So, yeah, there's that. I don't really have to practice something that is just my real accent, honestly. But I hope you guys come to my meet and greet. If you're in the Los Angeles area, come, please. Please, please, I don't wanna be embarrassed. Even though I'm already kind of prepared to be embarrassed. It's actually funny, cause you guys think that my American accent is my real accent. This is actually hilarious. And then somebody said on my post, they said, um, basically somebody's going to slap me at my meeting greet. And I just want to say, I fucking dare you. Honestly, I actually been waiting for the fucking moment. I've been waiting for the moment my whole entire life to meet an internet troll in real life. 
Honestly, because you guys think you've seen a psycho bitch before. You have not met me. <laughs> Someone please come night well. Who said that? Who said that? get into the beauty real quick yes there's a filter on no i'm not as pretty right now without it but it's loving me it's loving me and i'm loving it am i performing at my meet and greet no <laughs> no. no i'm gonna just get drunk it's gonna be champagne there for everybody I'm gonna get drunk, I'm gonna sell my books, I'm gonna sign my books, sell my books, sign my books, talk to people. Like, I really want you guys to come. Somebody said it better not get canceled because I just booked my flight. <gasps> Did you really? Don't lie to me. It's not going to get canceled though. But you know what's crazy? I had a dream. You know what's crazy? Let me just tell you all this. I've been having these weird ass fucking dreams. Let me start with the one I had last night. So I had this dream last night that I canceled my meet and greet and I was just so sad about it. And I was like, I'm going back to the strip club. I'm going to be a fucking stripper. Like, I don't care. So I go to the strip club. I wasn't making no money. I didn't make shite. And um, then this fucking football player who be in my DMs all the time, who don't really get no play for me, came in to the strip club. And I was like, everybody's like, oh my God, it's so and so. Oh my God. And I was like, this nigga be in my DMs. Let me go try to get some money. You know, this is a dream, y'all, by the way. I'm like, let me go try to get some money. And I got there and he was like, bitch, you don't ever respond to my DMs. So I basically played myself. And then I woke up like legit frantic. Like it was like a nightmare. I don't know why. It was really strange. But um, that was the dream pretty much. And then I had this other weird ass dream the day before. And I was like at this like it was like a sea of water but it was like a lake and it was like this ma majestic ass dark blue lake you could see clear to the bottom it was deep as fuck and it had like these giant ass pink manatees and they were like everybody was like in the water playing with these fucking giant manatees i'm talking like the size of like a fucking i'm talking like the size of a damn humpback whale and I'm like, nah, like, you know, I don't want to, like, pet the manatees. Like, I know they're friendly, but, like, they're just freaking me out. So I'm sitting on the edge. I'm sitting on the edge, and it's, like, this majestic-ass lake, and I'm just sitting on the edge. And my friend is pregnant, and I have her. She's in the water. She's like, I want to go swim in the water. Like, I want to go swim in the ocean with the manatees. She's pregnant as fuck, like a big pregnant belly. And I'm like, okay, go ahead, but I'm going to keep this string on you. So I'm going to hold on to you. So I'm watching her go deeper, deeper, deeper. Because it's clear straight to the bottom. Like her going deeper in the water. And I'm like, I'm going to just sit on the edge. And then legit, I look down. And it's a freaking giant pink manatee. 
coming up and I'm like oh my god like I'm literally in my dream like oh my god and the manatee comes up it's like so big over me I'm like looking over it and there's this person next to me and they're like yeah manatees really love cute things like give the manatee a kiss so I'm like like I give the manatee a kiss it has like this snout that's kind of like a pig and I'm holding on to the string of my pregnant frame and I'm like I give the manatee a kiss and she's like let the manatee see your feet and I'm like okay so I'm like like you know like whatever <laughs> and i let the fucking manatee kiss my feet and it's like yeah like the manatee likes your little fat toes so the freaking manatee's like kissing my fat ass toes and then the person who's like guiding me is like let me take you somewhere so i'm like all right and i go with them and it's like these like group of manatees right and the manatees are like i'm with this person and i'm with the manatees and they're like, yeah, like, can you let us through? Can you let us through? And they're like, okay, sure. So they let us through and right behind them, it's these fucking mermen and mermaids. And I'm like, oh my God, like I knew mermaids were real. Like I always knew mermaids were real. And it was like the manatees were like the freaking protectors of the mermaids, but the mermaids were with the shit. Like they were like, like warriors. They looked like warriors. And um, it was just crazy. And then I woke up yeah it was weird and yes i did just leave my pregnant friend i don't remember what happened after that i don't like it was just a dream so obviously everything was i forgot what happened with that but with that dream we know mermaids are real but we've already known that someone please call 911 and tell them i just got shut down <sighs> oh you guys also i'm gonna draw this fake tattoo on my neck when i'm done with my makeup so yeah let's get into this shit somebody said what did you smoke before you went to sleep i don't smoke but i don't know why i really have extremely extremely vivid dreams and it's just so weird like i don't know where they come from but i've been having extremely vivid dreams for probably the last six months or so and they're just like it feels so real it's really strange somebody said dreams are memories from your past life I wouldn't quite well you know what you never know like i'm a fucking witch so i'm i know that i definitely lived a bunch of lifetimes so you know homegirl back then was probably you know swimming with manatees and mermaids i need to use my lightest foundation because i'm pale as fuck right now I should take this filter off, but I just look so pretty without it. I mean, with it. You know what? I have had these weird ass dreams also about, actually multiple times, about um, my children, my future children. I don't know if you guys remember. I feel like I told you guys this on live. I don't remember if I told my friends or what, but I had a dream that the world was ending and I had a son and he was like a little bit older and he was like, yeah, like, you know, you have a daughter. And I was like, okay, like, let's go talk to her. So I went and talked to the daughter and I was like, who is your dad? I was asking the little girl, I'm like, who is your dad? Like, who's my baby daddy? And she was like, I don't know. I don't know. And I'm like, damn. So you not going to tell me who my baby daddy is? That's crazy. So I had an older son and a younger daughter in the dream. And I've actually had a dream about an older son and a younger daughter multiple times. It's freaking strange. <laughs> 
Yeah, I told you guys it's online. Where are your lashes from? These are extensions. Somebody said it's the babies you keep sending back. I'm screaming. Somebody said, you're going to see how much a child changes your life. I think you're ready. Honestly, like, I really don't think I'm ready. Like, sometimes I say I am and, like, I really do want a baby. But I really don't think so. Like, I was talking to my boo last night and he was like, well, when do you want to have kids? And I was like, keep in mind, we've talked about having kids many times. And he really used to press the issue. And, like, I used to be like, all right, kind of like I'm down. But then like now, like then I really kind of started getting scared and I'm like, actually, I don't think I'm down. So I was like, like three to four years. And he was like, three to four years. Like, oh my God, this smells so good. It's this coconut melt wipe. I got it off. Um, okay, this is actually not a baby wipe. This is oil. Okay, that was stupid. I need baby wipe. But um, I was like, three to four years. He's like, not no, three to four years. Like, you're full of shit. But I honestly really think like three to four years like i'm kind of at the point where i won't mind being a mom in my 30s like i don't know i'm just like i don't know somebody said you're a boo question mark yes and you guys will never find out who he is because i'm not gonna tell y'all at all and he keeps making jokes about me revealing who he is and i'm like that's not gonna happen baby we do not want these problems okay so let me do my fucking contour bro i don't know why but it's like little freaking fur or like something on my fucking brush and it's like you know when you get like those little loose fuzzies and it's like itching he ain't your husband though so i have a chance yeah also that i'm low-key like you know like i never really was super like i want to get married or anything but then like just seeing all of the shit that people go through like with baby daddy shit i'm kind of like you know what i do want to be married because it's just like too much like I don't even know if I want to have a kid with somebody if it's just not that commitment or I don't know I don't know it's confusing for me I don't know I've never really super cared about getting married but I'm starting to kind of care about it because I'm like bitch if you want me to pop a baby out this motherfucking coochie bitch I'm gonna need a, um a commitment in writing Because baby daddy who? If I have a baby daddy, I just want us to be friends. I don't want us to have ever had a relationship. Because when I'm in love, my emotions are very high. And I don't got time for that shit. Ugh, these fucking little fuzzies. Oh, you guys, there's like all these little fuzzies. I feel like there's some in my eye. Whatever. All Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys what I've been wanting to do 
we'll kind of like try. Ooh. Well, not this part, but after I'm done with this part. show y'all what I wanted to do but I'm just gonna finish this a little bit okay so what I wanted to do was I want to do a tattoo on my neck. <laughs> Let me put some fucking setting spray on my face. So hold on. So I want to do this fucking Taurus tattoo on my neck because I saw this girl with it and I kind of want to get a freaking neck tattoo. I know it's people, it's like so trashy, blah, 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 but I don't know. I've just been wanting a fucking neck tattoo. So I'm going to try to fucking do it. And honestly, I know I'm going to fuck up a few times, you guys, so don't judge. I want it to be like a perfect circle. Am I like this size? Oh, I know what I could do. Oh, shit. Okay, this is not going to work. It's a terrible idea. All right, let me try it. Okay, that's actually pretty fucking good. <sighs> okay, I just fucked it up. Okay, that's kind of perfect. Like, I really kind of been thinking about getting this tatted, so. You know, I gotta just draw it on my body to start.
those horns are kind of ugly and it's not centered fuck should i just leave it like this Can you tell it's a Taurus sign? Can y'all tell it's a Taurus sign? Should I make the horns bigger? I'll make it bigger. Let me make the horns a little bigger. Oh, shit. Somebody said it looks like BGC. You guys, it looks like a Tory sign. Like, a BGC sign has a fucking tail. Uh, okay, let me do it like this. Okay, I'm gonna do the horns like going kind of like out this way instead of like together, you know? Well, that looks like a fucking ram. Does that look like a Taurus? Does it? Does this look better? Sorry, all my nose issues. So let me say one horn is longer than the other. Should I put it lower? So do we hate it or do we kind of like it? I feel like it's kind of cute. Screw you guys. All right, y'all. I'm about to take pictures, so um, it'll be up. Also, again, you guys, my meet and greet is August 22nd, Sunday, on Melrose in Los Angeles. I want you guys to all come if you're in LA, please. Like, I would really appreciate it. Like, I really want to meet you guys. And yeah, go RSVP. The link is in my story.